a new beginning, the opening match day of the season, and a keen sense of optimism enveloping everyone. Who will come out on top? Stay with us, we'll have all the action for you live right here on EA TV. Hello and welcome, and I can tell you it was a dry walk to the gantry today, no rain in sight. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And there are few more enjoyable days on the football calendar than opening day in the Premier League. It is Nottingham Forest taking on Liverpool. Well, thanks, Derek. These away fans come here fully expecting their team to win the title this season. If that's to be the case, they need to get off to a good start and win this game. And here's how Nottingham Forest will line up. Well, it's a 4-3-3 with two out-and-out -out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. Let's take a look at the Liverpool starting 11. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Trent Alexander-Arnold starts with Andrew Robertson in the wide defensive areas. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And the match is underway. Aboniyi. Luis Diaz. Succeeded in keeping it in play. Could really get at the opposition just the challenge that was required and a throw in for Liverpool yeah. well they no longer have the ball they're really pressing their opponents Brennan Johnson And foul it is then. Well, later in the game he might have seen yellow, but not at this early point. Yeah, but I'm with the referee. It's a foul, but no card. <laughs> Can he find someone at the far post? Save, but still a chance. Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game, but you could make a strong case for this man, I think, Stuart. What are you expecting to see from him? Well, Derek, he's a great all-round player, but it's his ability to run in behind defenders that makes him such a threat. And when he gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper, he usually scores. And back underway, 1-0 it is.
Felipe. And it's Dennis. Very quick thinking there. Oh, big chance. Oh, he's found the net. And that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted and just what they deserve. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. But in the end, it's far too easy to create the 2v1 against the keeper. What were the defenders trying to do? Nice finish, but poor defensively. Two nil here, and the ball is moving again. Johnson. Oh, managing to beat him. Oh, he's given it. The referee says penalty and an opportunity for them to pull one back here. Well, no card handed out. He gets away with a rebuke. Well, a lot of referees would have booked him there, but I'm with him on this one. No yellow card for me. This to get themselves back into it. And the penalty is converted. I don't think anyone really questioned him. Well, here it is again. And just watch the keeper. He stands still, hoping it's hit down the middle. Unfortunately for him, he's got it wrong. Well, underway again. It's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand. Andrew Robertson. And Diaz has it. Bruno Guimaraes. It's neat passing, confidence on the ball. My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. <laughs> and now the delivery. Well, not making life difficult for the keeper at all. A wide attempt. Well, the referee trying to play advantage there, but it wasn't forthcoming. Can he find the right pass? A fine reading of the situation. Bodies forward and the break looks on. They've regained possession. Emmanuel Dennis. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Andrew Robertson. Bruno Guimaraes. Who can he pick out? And he could really get at the opposition. And the keeper making sure there were no scraps for them to feed on. Bruno Guimaraes. Fabinho. Has a go! Well, really fine goalkeeping. Good diving stop. And he decided to let the play flow, but now he's going to issue a yellow card. Yeah, I think that's good refereeing. He tried to play the advantage.
Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, thumped clear. It did look on for them, but not to be. Andrew Robertson. Can he play it in? Mongala. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Well, the keeper had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. Short corner favoured. And out of play for a forest throw. And options in the centre. And searching for his seconds, but the keeper equal to the task. Well, he's looking really lively, isn't he? Every time he gets the ball, he looks a threat. Over it comes. A very effective clearance. And just missing the target. Well, they're at least making chances. Now they need to be more clinical. Luis Diaz. And saved by the keeper. Can someone get on the end of this? Clattered away. And there it is, the half-time whistle. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, I really liked his first-half display. He was certainly the most influential player on the field. And I'm expecting more of the same in the second 45 minutes. So back in business, the second half underway. It's Liverpool in front, but far from being done and dusted. Well, he tried to put everything into the shot, but couldn't find the target. Liverpool free kick coming up. Well, transfer speculation is all part of football, and there's been quite a lot of speculation on this front, but the deal has now been confirmed, Stuart. Well, the reported fee of around £35 million represents a really good deal for them. He's talented, yes, but he's also a really top-class professional, and that attitude will rub off on some of those players around him, that's for sure. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. And he's fired over the corner. Oh, wonderful save. Well, he reacts so quickly there. That's a great save. Well, not cleared away completely. Virgil van Dijk. And there's the feed into the box. And they couldn't add to their advantage. Well, that would have put them in complete control. He should have scored there. Well read to win possession back. Got to it easily, the keeper.
Well, this is certainly the home of live football, EA TV, and looking forward to bringing you more action from the Premier League. It's Nottingham Forest taking on Brighton. Well, it was a promising avenue of attack, but the momentum has been halted, and you wouldn't be surprised to see the card handed out. And keeper's ball. He made it look as though it was never in any doubt. Alexander Arnold and the keeper getting across to stop it. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Delivering it, struggling to get it away. Firing it in. Oh, a superb save. Playing it in. Well, the keeper had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. And the degree of difficulty wasn't all that high in terms of the save. Remo Freuler. Alexander Ganavin has it. And we very much hope you'll join us for more live Premier League action on EA TV. It's Liverpool facing Everton. And what a game that will be. Two good teams in a great stadium. I'm really looking forward to that one. And over it comes. Well, he couldn't get the header on the target, but robust defending. Did well to win the ball back. Good-looking ball. There could be a chance now. High degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley like that, and it was close. Well, his skill level is so high, you're absolutely right. That's a great effort on the volley. So a personnel change then. McAllister. Gakpo. He takes aim. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Substitution for Liverpool. Coming off the pitch, number 66. Let's see about the delivery. Well, off targets in the end, and that'll be a goal kick. Well, I think the defender just about did enough there, but that was a chance. to it and over comes the corner oh really good header really fine goalkeeping corner once more comes to nothing in the end really should have made more of that as you can see Liverpool have had all the ball in the last 15 minutes and have been pressing to extend their lead they just need to be a bit more clinical in front of goal this is a message for Tyler Berry that's Tyler Berry and teammates around him the Thank you. takes the shot 
and foiled only by the crossbar. In it goes! But wait a minute, that will not count. Well, that was tight, but he was just offside. It was a good finish, though. And foul it is then. Now we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Aboniyi. And very deftly cut out. Darwin Nunez. Good effort here. And Navas has somehow kept it out. Well, here it is again, and quite clearly it didn't cross the line. Mind you, it was very close. <laughs> Delivering it. And clearing it away. Played into the centre. And a little too close to the keeper in the end. Really good challenge. And they need to get tighter. Matty. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. And well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Well, the fans are certainly playing their part here. Just listen to this noise. They get forward, but time is very much against them here. This could be the equaliser. Oh, it's off the post. It has to be. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. Well, this late corner could represent their last chance to equalise. Who can they pick out? Well, the keeper won't be complaining about that corner kick delivery. His ball all the way. Manuel Ugarte. Now with Konate. Chance to run at them. Play towards the back post. And it didn't really work the keeper when all was said and done. Well, a nearly moment just over the top. Aboniyi. And here they come, still pressing for an equaliser. This could level it. The importance of that tackle cannot be overstated. Well, it could be on for him here. Can he finish? A oh, tremendous block. Another goal from this corner would in all likelihood secure a victory. Playing it in. Oh, what a fine save and a timely one, Stuart. Well, that does give them some hope because that would have been the end. Oh, that's top-notch goalkeeping, you've got to say. And that is all for this game anyway. It goes into the books as a victory for Liverpool. Yeah, they should be happy with that. It was a good display, and it's always important to get off to a decent start.
Well, you know, when our colleagues in the newspapers come out with their grades for this match, he's going to get very high marks. Well, of course, his finishing could have been better today, but he scored one and made a lot of chances for himself. I thought he was outstanding.